In this video section, I'm just going to go through how to open up the abdominal wall and uh, show you the greater momentum. This is a little bit graphic, but actually kind of neat. So if you've got a weak stomach or you're watching this for some other reason than anatomy, you might not want to be looking at this. What we're going to do is we're going to follow the midline of the linea alba. Okay, going, the cat's head is up here. This is the anterior region. This is the posterior region. We're going to follow right about to the end of the xiphi humoralis. We're going to go all the way down to the groin. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to do a door system. That keeps the cat moist as we're going through. I just make a small incision right along that linea alba. I'd be very careful as I go up. I don't, I, I'm actually lifting up on the body cavity so I don't cut any intestines out of the way. I follow that line and I'm going to, at this point, I'm going to cut open, uh, cut through some ribs as well. So you'll hear my scissors clicking a little bit harder. We'll be cutting through the diaphragm just a little bit. I don't want to get up into the thoracic cavity. And I'll be going on this side as well. Now a lot of what we're seeing, you won't see blood or anything like that, a lot of what we're seeing is just body tissue. Okay, I'm just cutting this open enough so I can see inside. And I'll go through a little bit of what we're seeing as we cut this. Normally students will be moving their cat around kind of crossing over my hands and everything. You'll find your own technique, whatever works for this one. Okay, so there we'll see that. Now, a lot of students at this point say, okay, what is this? What we're seeing are the liver up here, we see the spleen on the side, and we see a mass of yellowish stuff and everything else. This is actually a membrane that lifts right up. This membrane covers the intestines. It ties to the bottom of the stomach. This is all called the greater omentum. It's there for, you know, it's kind of debated between, um, amongst people for different things. Um, a lot of it is to secure, uh, if there's an infection, it'll actually adhere to that infection on the small intestine, sealing it off, uh, so it's not going to be exposing uh, the rest of the body to that infection. So it's almost like an instant band-aid that adheres to any problems that go on. This is the greater momentum. Our bodies have it as well. Um, and you'll see a lot of times the fat that's built up in there. You'll see some men that, uh, men tend to store fat in the greater momentum a little bit more readily than women. So you'll see a lot more pot-bellied men than women. Not in myself, of course. All I'm doing is I'm separating it, this greater momentum, from the rest of the digestive system. So you can see the small intestines and everything else inside. And actually it comes off in one big sheet. You want to be careful as you're doing this because it also ties to the pancreas and other organs and I'll clean that up more later off camera. But once we do that, we see this is the big sheet of the greater momentum. Most of it's mesentery. It's not as icky as you think. It almost is like saran wrap and that type of feel to it. So I'm not going to seal up any sandwiches or anything like that, any leftovers with this though.